The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> We're gonna talk about Young and Ace. Young and Ace was just arrested in Jacksonville, Florida last night on possession of a firearm, uh, weapons, ammunition by a convicted felon. Uh, 8.30 last night, um, he was pulled over after failure to stop at a four-way intersection. Uh, police pulled him over, and upon searching the car, they found seven, seven loaded guns. Uh, they also found a Draco pistol and a handgun in reach of Younger Ace. That's why he was charged with possession. Uh, and also one of the guns had army piercing bullets in it, which is extra time. For those that don't know, army piercing bullets is uh, the bullets that go through bulletproof vests. So that's why, you know, it's pretty much legal in all 52 states. If you get caught with those things, man, you, 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 you dang near basically getting caught with a switch. But um, we're going to jump straight into it, man. This man was riding around. Well, of course, he's in Jacksonville, Florida, which he shouldn't be at all. But I get it. He still got family, so I'm pretty sure he got to go there and check up on people and stuff like that. But for you to be moving around with, with, with seven firearms and you a known convicted felon and you known in Jacksonville, you know the police don't like you. You know the ops don't like you. You just literally just set yourself up for failure. Because at the end of the day, bro, to ride around with seven firearms seven of them that mean you knew for a fact you wasn't supposed to be there anybody that ride around with seven firearms they either up to something or they somewhere they ain't supposed to be now i get it um you know young and ace you, you still got family that stay in jacksonville i know you don't got the type of money to move everybody out but the fact that you traveling around Z jacksonville like it's just a cool place to be at this is the reason why you in the situation that you in. You had no business being in Jacksonville at all. You are a target to law enforcement and you are a target to ops. You outgrew Jacksonville. The same thing with uh, Fulio. Y'all outgrew Jacksonville, bro. Once you outgrow your city, man, you have to leave, bro, because law enforcement and ops, bro, will, they just going to target you. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like Young and Ace, is already known in Jacksonville for certain type of things. And I feel like anytime law enforcement get a chance to get at them, that's what they going to do. Uh, of course, they didn't know there was Young and Ace in the, in the truck when they pulled it over. But the fact that y'all riding with seven firearms and y'all failure, failure to stop at a four-way intersection, y'all some rookies, man. Y'all some rookies. Then on top of that, what's making it so bad for Young and Ace is the fact that can't nobody take the charge for him is police found the Draco pistol and they found another handgun within reach. Anytime you a uh, convicted felon or anything, you are not allowed to have a firearm in reaching distance. Meaning that you can have security, you could be around the police or whatever it is, but you cannot have a firearm within reaching distance. So because the police is accusing him of having two firearms in reaching distance, that was an easy possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Then on top of that, the firearm that was close by him had army piercing bullets in it. So he's getting additional charges for having ammunition. So that's why I could just keep looking badder and badder for him. And by him being a convicted felon, he I don't see him, I don't see him eat eating that charge, man, because like I say, they found it, they found it in reaching distance. Anytime you're a convicted felon, you can have security, you can you can be all you can have all of that. You cannot have a firearm within reaching distance. Meaning as in if I get pulled over and there's a firearm up under my seat, that's reaching distance. I can still be charged. Whether if it's my strap or not, it's in reaching distance. The law is gonna look at it as you were in possession of it. Cause you already not supposed to be around it and it's in reaching distance. So it ain't looking too good for him, man. Like I'm gonna say again, I just felt like, man. That whole trip to Jacksonville, man, was just a dummy mission. I get it. He got family there and he got to go there to visit his family and stuff like that. But for you to be riding around with seven illegal firearms and then you y'all don't got enough common sense to stop at a four way intersection. You are already riding dirty and then you're not stopping at a four way intersection. Y'all asking for it. Then on top of that, nobody's none of these firearms is registered. Nobody has a license to carry these guns. No, nothing. So we, like, come on, bro. It's like, 
Young and Ace, you just put yourself in the situation, bro, for no reason. I get it, bro. You have to go to Jacksonville because you still have family there. But you are a target to law enforcement. You are a target to your op. There's no point in you being in Jacksonville, bro. You outgrew Jacksonville, bro. Jacksonville don't got enough money to book you for a show. Uh, nothing, bro. You outgrew it. Let your family come to California or to Atlanta, wherever you at, to come visit you. You have no reason being in Jacksonville. And how I know you have no reason for being in Jacksonville is because you felt the, ne the ne necessity to ride around with seven firearms. That let me know two things. Either... One, you know you wasn't supposed to be there. Or two, you preparing yourself if something go down. With that being said, bro, you know you wasn't supposed to be there. Anybody that's riding around with those type of weapons and stuff. Seven, we talking seven firearms. Seven firearms. Bro, you wasn't in the place you were supposed to be at. That's just street, street rules and just common sense. It's common sense, no, if you need a seven firearms. Not one, but seven firearms, that's the area you should not be in. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Um, I don't see him beating this, man. Two reasons I don't see him beating it. For one, they found the firearms in the vehicle. They wasn't registered. There was no security. That's the first thing. He's a convicted felon. That's case closed. Second thing, there was two firearms in reaching distance of Young and Ace. That's a case closed. That's a possession of a firearm. I'm going to break it down to you one more time. Let's just say if me and four or five people re riding in the car, I'm a convicted felon. But there's a firearm up under my seat. I can still be charged with possession of a firearm whether if I place that firearm there or not. Because I'm a convicted felon, I am not allowed to have firearms in reaching distance. Reaching distance is arm reach. If you can reach it and touch it, possession of a firearm this guy had two firearms up under him they say he had a draco pistol and a, and a handgun with army piercing bullets in it that's another thing that, that that they hit for those is legal in 52 states it's certain attachments and certain type of uh bullets and rounds that you cannot put in a firearm because it makes law enforcement job way more dangerous if you have a round in your chamber that can shoot through a bulletproof vest or whatever it is like that's a dangerous weapon that's a dangerous weapon like that's a dangerous weapon but once again this guy knew what he was doing he knew the area that he was in he knew that he's a target um years ago um you know he was a victim of a, of a shooting at a uh, at a light in jacksonville where ultimately killed like four or five of his friends so so young and ace is no dummy on what what he need to prepare himself for what utensils or material he need to ride around in jacksonville but at the end of the day i'm gonna tell y'all young brothers and sisters out there man if you feel like you need a firearm or you need a weapon to hang out in a certain area or to be in a certain area, you don't need to be there, bro. If you can't just use these to be in that area, you don't need to be there, bro. If you need seven firearms to be in the area, bro, something is telling you you don't need to be there, bro. But I, I hate the fact that Young and Ace had to learn the hard way on this go round because I'm going to say this again. Jacksonville, the reason he left Jacksonville in the first place was because, of course, he, he you know, the issue he got with, with you know, the, the ops and stuff like that. But he left because law enforcement, he made himself a target to law enforcement. You a big time rapper. You claim this gang. Your gang is allegedly getting into it with these dudes. It's turning from 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 Twitter fingers to, to real live issues and rounds being fired. And yet you go back to that same city that the police don't like you and the ops don't like you. For what reason? For what reason? The only thing that I can think of is he was going to go see his family. That's the only thing that can make it reasonable. Like, okay, somebody in his family could have been sick or however somebody in his family passed away. I can understand going back to your hometown. But just going back to your hometown just, just because I ain't scared or I'm with it. And then on top of that, you riding around. You got pulled over at 8.30 and you got booked at 12 o'clock. So if you're not going to the studio, going to a club, uh, a business meeting, uh, 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 20 females versus one, something to do with some money, bro, you really just set yourself up because you was riding around with seven firearms for nothing. If you wasn't going to go get no money, go to the studio, go see your family or whatever, bro, you was asking for this, bro, because you riding around with seven firearms. And then the person who driving don't got enough common sense to stop at a four-way intersection. Everybody know what a four-way intersection is. That's when everybody has to stop. 
Everybody has a stop sign. Everybody has to stop. But Young and A's driver kept on going through with seven firearms on him. Police pulled him over. And, you know, ain't nobody going to sit there and say, oh, Young and Ace, man, don't worry. I'm going to take the rap, man. You're going to go home. Nobody took the rap. Let me tell you why it's not going to make a difference if somebody take a rap or not. Let's just say if I'm in a car with Young and Ace and I say, you know what, man, all these firearms is mine. It, all these is mine. He's still not going to beat the fact that it was two firearms found in reaching distance of him. There's no way he's going to beat that. You cannot be a convicted felon to have a firearm that you can reach out and touch. Now, let's just say if it's locked up in three, four rows back in a safe deposit box and, you know, you don't have the key toward anything, of course, you can't be charged with it. You know, it's not going to look good. You probably might be still have to go down and see the parole board and all of that. But by him having it under his seat and having it in a reaching, a reaching distance, that is a prime example of possession of a firearm. It does not have to be on your waist. It does not have to be in your shirt, your pants, your drawers, your, your shoes. If it's in reach and distance and you a convicted felon, you will, I will say again, you will be charged with possession of a firearm by convicted felon. And I'm going to say again, um, another charge that it's going to be hard for him to beat is going to be those arm and piercing rounds. Those things is legal in all 52 states, like I just said a couple minutes ago. Uh, law enforcement is scared of these rounds, man, because like I say, they go through bulletproof vests. So if you out there and you and you 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 engaging in, in in a battle with somebody else and he got those type of rounds, you hit my boy. I would advise any police officer or law enforcement man take cover and get out the way, bro, because that vest you got on is it, 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 not made out of uh, Teflon, bro. But it's your boy D's Media signing out, man. But it ain't looking good for Young and Ace. I'm going to read his charges back off to you. Young and Ace was charged in Jacksonville, Florida, possession of a firearm, weapon, and ammunition by a convicted felon. At 8.30, uh, he was pulled over for failure to stop at a four-way intersection in Jacksonville, Florida. Upon them searching, police found seven loaded guns, including a Draco pistol and a handgun and they found a Draco pistol and a handgun in reach of Young and Ace. And one of the firearms that was by Young and Ace had army person bullets in it at the time, which is extra charm. How I just explained to y'all, because like I say, they go through vests and it's just so dangerous because law enforcement, it's hard to go be in a battle with somebody that got those type of rounds, man. You in a losing battle. But it's your boy D's Media signing out, man. I hope, man, that this situation. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>